Welcome to part two of the Ryobi Electric Riding Mower Review, an all-electric, futuristic piece of equipment you'll never forget. Okay, I'm totally joking. How's that for an intro though? Welcome back to part two of the Ryobi Electric Mower Review. This video is going to cover time-lapse shots, what happens when the mower got wet, and how to recover from a fight with a stick. take a video and just show things I've run into a couple of times with uh, needing to empty the grass out and pretty soon here I'll have to take the um, take the mower deck off so you can tell on the tires that this is actually pretty wet uh, and there's some wet grass so all I did was just stop for a minute and to disengage the mower blade um, but I know in my last video I talked about how well this did in the wet grass it still does it still does really well but you've got to take this and empty this every couple times so you can see how filled up it is and it's not that it stops it all the way up if you can see there there's kind of a hole so I'll just grab this and you can see how much of it comes out get the rest of it out I'm mowing on two and a half and it's so it's really low you can see how much it builds up in there. I mean, it's going to build up with any mower, but I feel like with this one, um, since it does actually go so low, it gets clogged up. It feels to me like a little bit more because you can see where it sits off of the ground. You're only getting like an inch or two there off the ground. And so when you're cutting the grass, it tends to get clogged up a little bit more. Okay, so I uh, ran over a stick and wanted to show you what happens if you get a stick wedged into the um to get a stick wedge into the mower blade i've actually been kind of trying to do this intentionally to see how it would handle it and if i try to pull it out it's pretty well wedged in there uh, if, if i get on the mower and turn it on so it comes on and just kicks off automatically so i'll try it again you can listen to it over here It's starting to move a little bit so you can see the sharpness of those blades I should probably actually have some gloves on to do this so let me just rotate the stick there we go so I've got it out that's the stick <laughs> that's what I ran over all right so let's see what happens now so I'll turn the key back on and I had to push it down and pull it back up because I had it engaged still there we go so there is a mulching attachment that you can use, but it uh, I haven't actually got to use it yet. That covers everything I could think of for right now. Obviously over the next year or so I'm sure things will come up that I can cover. It's been a fun mower to use and test. The cut quality still continues to be great. Thanks for watching the video today. Because of people like you, I feel helpful. But wait! Before you go, check out this super slow-mo video of what it feels like on the Ryobi electric riding mower. You know, the one that could get unlimited power from the sun.